Hey everybody, quick few words about letting things land in your runway. Free will versus the divine's will or God's will or thy will be done, however you want to put it. It was recently uh, brought up to me about this one healer that I met, very powerful Qigong healer, and he says every day he wakes up and says, I'm going to ask that thy will be done instead of thinking my free will knows best. And you're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Well, case in point, just the other day when I was trying to get home from Denver, I was on a 5.30 p.m. flight and it was set in the books for weeks when the producers booked this flight. So think about that. If something is in the books for you, you got a plan. Then the universe has all this time to put these puzzle pieces into place. Maybe the person that's sitting next to you is gonna help introduce you to somebody or needs to hear what you have to say or the person that you meet in line boarding the plane is somebody you're supposed to know for life. Could be a friend for life. So all these pieces come together in a sort of stew and simmers. And then if you insert your free will and say, ah, I don't want to be on that flight. I'm going to try to go on standby, <laughs> which is what I did. I tried to go on an earlier flight home on standby. So I said, okay, God, if universe, if I'm not supposed to be on this plane, please show me a sign without a shadow of a doubt that I'm not supposed to be on this plane. Five minutes later, they make an announcement. I've got my standby ticket, but they're waiting for the cleaning crew to come. Uh, because there's vomit on the plane. Now, in all my years of flying, I have <laughs> never heard a flight attendant mention vomit. So that was a pretty serious sign, uh, not my plane. But then, of course, I had to still stand there and wait, and I heard another announcement 15 minutes later that they were uh, repairing the tail because there was a mechanical issue with the tail. I'm like, oh. And then they said, oh, it's oversold. Would anybody want to forfeit their flight? And so I'm like, well, I got a seat on standby. I'm, I'm going to give it up. So I went up and I said, I'm going to give my seat back. And she said, oh, thank you. You know, we're oversold. That will really help. And I met this woman and she was on the same flight as I was, the 530 flight. So she was going to stick it out, try to get home earlier to her kids, which is why I wanted to go home early to get home to my son. Cut to my original flight, goes off without a hitch. Everything is fine. I witness a beautiful conversation on the plane between the flight attendant and one of the passengers. She happened to be the mother of one of her best friends. It was just all good, positive vibes. Um, met a really nice person next to me. It was all meant to be. Locked in, got home on time, perfect. As we were deplaning, I saw the woman I had met in line for the standby flight. And I said, oh my gosh, you're on this flight. And she said, Jen, you're not gonna believe what happened. <laughs> so try me. So she gets on the plane, they're starting to taxi, and then they make another announcement that another light went on, mechanical problems, had to go back to the gate. That plane was still at the gate in Denver, didn't even make it to Chicago yet. And this was now 9.30 p.m. on Monday night. She was on the plane and they let her deplane, which they never do, to go try to see if she could catch her next flight. Pretty miraculous that they let her off. I've never even heard of that happening. But they did and she got on and so there you have it. It was a perfect example to me of sometimes inserting your free will is forcing something instead of allowing things to happen once you've already locked in your plan, you've locked in your intention, and then you let God, source, the divine, handle the rest. So sometimes we have to allow instead of force those things to fall into place for us. Trust that there will be something magnificent once you've locked in your intention along with your plan, and then watch the magic happen. Some food for thought this Wednesday. Damn it.